Hey, I'm Steve Krentz for Guitar Gathering. Thanks for joining us on this lesson about pentatonic scales. This is kind of a beginner's guide to pentatonic scales. They are one of the foundational skills uh, for guitar playing. And uh, so it's been a while since we've covered that, so I thought we would cover it now. Hey, if you like the work that we do, uh, please uh, consider subscribing to our channel. That is always a great help to us uh, as uh, you, we go live and you can get notifications of that. All right, there is a PDF that goes along with this. The link to that PDF is in the uh, YouTube description uh, down below. And so please take a second to download that PDF because this is not gonna make much sense without it. Um, all right, pentatonic scales. What is the pentatonic scale? Let me just play a little bit for you. pentatonic scales. All right, so let's figure, let's see what's happening with these. All right, so what is a pentatonic scale? Well, here's the deal. If you have a major scale, a regular C major scale, let's go in the key of C. Well, that's seven notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then the octave, the eighth note, and so that would be the octave. So there's seven different tones. And what a pentatonic scale, penta meaning five, it takes five of those notes out of that major scale and forms another little scale that is really just a subset of, of the major scale. It's just dropping a couple of tones. So the tones that the, are in the, the, uh, the pentatonic, major pentatonic scale, are the first, the second, the third, the fifth, and the sixth of the major scale. So it, in the key of C, it would be a C, a D, an E, and then we would skip the fourth, and we'd go right to the fifth, G, A. We would skip the seventh, and we'd go right to C. So you end up with a scale that's like this. And if I did it up an octave. So it's a five note scale, and it conveniently drops a two of the more problematic notes in a C major scale, which is the fourth degree and the seventh degree. So it just kind of takes those problematic notes uh, away, and you're left with all the good safe notes. One, two, three, five, and six. That's your five notes of your pentatonic scale. So what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna learn a couple of important concepts with these uh, pentatonic scales. We're gonna learn about the forms, how these scales are made up, and then we're also gonna learn how you can get two for the price of one by using uh, the same scale function in a major and a minor way. So let's talk about that for a second. In this big world of ours, there is a special relationship between two tones in a major scale. The, those tones are the first, the root, you know, a C in a C scale, okay? And the sixth step in a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A. So what I want you to look at is the C and the A. The first step and the sixth step are related. They are called relatives of each other, okay? And just like, you know, your, your cousin, your relative, okay, you share some DNA. So the a scale built from a C up to a C would be a C major scale. So if you look at the um, page two of your PDF there, you see a collection of tones. If I go from the C, which is the third note, that's a C major scale, okay? Now, if I start on the sixth step, which would be the A, and go from A to A, but still using the same notes, I get an A minor scale. So they, these two relative keys share the same key signature. So C major and A minor are two sides of the same key signature. That's what I want you to know. And what, I, what that matters to us is it's great. I can learn one pentatonic form that works great in C major and the same pentatonic form works great in A minor. So I get two uses for one scale. Oh, what could be better in a guitar world is the less you have to practice, the better. So here I'm getting two, two functions out of the same pattern of notes. All right, so let's talk about these 
pentatonic forms. Since there's five notes in a pentatonic scale, okay, there are five different shapes that I can play them on uh, guitar. And so that's going to be our first hurdle is learning the shape. So take a look at page two and take a look at uh, underneath the five pentatonic forms. Take a look at that first form. All right, and let's see what's happening here. Now, it has two roots, one of a major, one of a minor. The diamond note, the note that is diamonded, okay, that's uh, the major root, if I want to think of it as a C major pentatonic. I'm, I'm looking at that note, which in this first form, at the fifth fret, would be my pinky on the sixth string. Now, the circle, the open circle, that's the minor root. So same collection of notes works for A minor and C major. All right, so if we played that first pentatonic form, look at this, you're going first finger. This is at the fifth fret there. See that little five FR there? Sixth string, first, and then fourth finger. And then on the next string, I've got first and third finger. And then I have the next string, first and third. Then I have first and third. And then I have one and four, and one and four. So let's take a look at that pattern again. First and fourth, and then three times a first and third finger. One, three, one, three, one, three. Then on the second string, I have one, four, and one, four. There you go. So if we played those all together, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. And that's at the fifth position. That is our, we're going to call that, it's not an official name, but we're going to call that our first form. Now that is the main form that guitarists just like to use. It just lands really comfortably on guitar, and guitarists like to use that form. So I would say, gosh, from Stevie Ray Vaughan to B.B. King to bluegrass players to blues players, you're gonna see a lot of folks using that shape. First finger, fourth finger, first finger, third, first finger, third, first finger, third, first, fourth, first, fourth. They're gonna be using that shape. So we need to get familiar with that shape. Inside of that shape is our five tones of the pentatonic scale. C, D, E, G, A. First note of the scale, second note of the scale, third note of the scale, fifth note of the scale, sixth, and then it just repeats. So your first mission, should you choose to accept it, would be to learn that shape. So there's the notes that are involved, but also it's so shape-oriented on guitar that I want you to focus a lot on the look, the pattern, the shape of that one, four, one, three, one, three. That would be an A minor pentatonic or a C major pentatonic. What if I wanted an, you know, an a, a, a B minor pentatonic. Okay, well then I put my first finger, it's the minor root, so I put him up at the seventh fret, and I would play the same pattern of notes. Same pattern of notes. What if I wanted a B flat minor pentatonic? I put my first finger on that, I find the the movable root, that B flat there, and go from there. What if I wanted a G minor pentatonic? No problem. There you go. Now, I know I'm moving a little fast here. We're gonna try and have a, put a, a couple of workouts along with these videos to really kind of help you get these forms underneath your fingers on that. All right, so that's the first shape. Now, there are other shapes, okay? So the second form, just for you, just for illustration, I move up here to the seventh fret. I put my second finger where that diamond is, and I'm gonna go two, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, two, four, two, four. And I know you're right now you're getting lost in all the one fours and two fours and one threes and all that sort of stuff. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. So focus on one pattern for a while, play it up and down the neck, 
you know, play it in different keys and get familiar with it. But there are five of these patterns. So a lot of folks play the first pattern and think, whew, that's all I need to know. And they forget that there's, you know, it's like having your hand and only using one finger. Okay, you've got, you've got a whole bunch, that, a whole lot of things that you could do with these other shapes. So that's what the second form is. Now, we're using a standard position shape where your first finger is on the whatever it tells you there, the fifth or the seventh or the ninth fret, whatever it's indicating there, and then second finger is the next fret, third finger is the next fret, pinky's covering the next two frets. Now, here at the third form, this is the one shape that's kind of different, okay? So the third form, I'm going up here to the ninth fret, which is here, but it's telling me to play 2-4 uh, on this first low string. 2-4, two, 2-4, four, two, four, two, four, and then 1-4. And then I have to shift, and I'm going to go 1-4, one, 1-3. One, Again, don't get lost in the individual shape. That's going to take you a while to learn that. I'm just showing you the shape. Same collection of notes as we've been playing all along. It's just a different shape. Okay, so we've gone through three. The fourth one, I'm way up here at the 12th fret. E, G, or A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G. That's the fourth shape. Now the fifth shape, I could go all the way up here, but it's getting a little high, getting a little high. So, but think, I'm above the 12th fret, so I can transpose this an octave lower. So instead of being at the 14th fret, I'm going to be down here at the 2nd fret and starting off, 2nd position, starting off with my 2nd finger on that 3rd fret. So but I'm in the 2nd position. Okay, so there's the shapes. I don't want you to get too lost in the shapes. Here's what these wonderful chords can do. These, these types of scales can do. So if I'm soloing and I've got a groove, let's say in A minor, we've got our track here in A minor. And so we're going to turn that on in a second. And I'm going to try and pick some ideas. Let's use that first form. And I'm going to try and pick some ideas out of that first form, which works over C major or A minor. So we're going to get our A minor track going here. And I'll try and play some ideas out of it. Let me just play through the shape first. I'm shooting right out, of the, right out of that shape. of what I just played there was right out of that shape. Am I thinking about the scale tones and all of that sort of stuff? No, I'm not. I'm thinking of that shape. And I slide around to the notes. I can slide to them. I can uh, uh, do little patterns on them, which we're going to get to in a second. And all of that is based out of that pentatonic shape. Now I can do the same thing with the other shapes as well. And I end up with a little bit slightly different sound, but it works. The concept works the same. So. What you need to work on is learning that form first, learning which is the uh, major shape, which is the minor root, and then pivoting off of that. So let's talk about that for a second. So if I wanted to play in A minor, we would do this one. Because my first finger on that open circle is the minor root. That's what it's telling me there. If I wanted to play in C major, let's say my chord progression is in C major. So let me get a little loop going. Three, four. Okay, I'm going to play that same collection of notes. How they're working. 
working. So now all of these have these two roots, one major, one minor. So if I wanted to play, let's say in D major, well, the major root is the pinky note, and I would have to make my pinky be on the sixth string where a D is, and that's where it is right there, and form all the rest of the, of the shape around it, and I've got that. All right, so there's major and minor roots, and there's the different forms, all right. Now, it's easy for me to blather out and show you what these form, forms are. Hey, it's written in the PDF, there you go. Hey, that took me probably three months to learn those forms, okay? Working on them every day, memorizing those forms, learning how to move them up and down the neck. But along the way, I learned the neck of the guitar. So many players are wanting to know, hey, hey, I really would love to know, you know, this dusty part of the neck up here. Okay, hey, what are the notes up there? Hey, I was, I was uh, unfamiliar with those notes too until I did these exercises with those five pentatonic forms and at three months over a summer and I had them, okay? So I know I can write them out in five minutes, but it's gonna take you weeks to learn these. I realize and memorize it, I realize that. Okay, and I, and, I, and I feel the weight of, of how much information I'm giving you. Don't get discouraged by it, just understand that, you know, if guitar playing was easy, everybody would do it, okay? They, uh, one, one, another thing that's really interesting about these pentatonic shapes, look at the next line down there on page two, they connect together, okay? So if you look at, let's just th think of it like this. Here's the first shape. If I look at just this back side of it, not what my first finger is doing, but what's, what's happening over here, I end up with a shape that looks like this. Fourth. Okay. Now look at that shape. If I play with a different finger set, finger set, I end up with that shape. That shape right there is the first side of the second form. Ah. Do you see what's happening there? These are connecting together. So look at look at the first form, and look at the, the shape of the notes that are happening, not with your first finger, with the fourth and the third, and then look at the top of the shape of the second form, and you'll see that same shape. So... So these fit together like puzzle pieces. And the same thing works. So if I look at the bottom half of the second form, which I end up with a shape that looks like this, and I look at the top half of the third form, it's the same shape. So what I'm trying to get you to see by this confusing little diagram at the bottom of page two is that these forms connect together. There's five pieces that connect together like puzzle pieces. There's the first form, there's the second form, there's the third form, there's the fifth form, you know, and we go up from there, okay? And they work in all keys just like that. All right, so, great, Steve, we're excited about that. We'll learn the forms, but let's make some music with them. Okay, well, how do we start doing that? Take a look at page three. I'm gonna give you three patterns that are just good little patterns to have underneath your fingers for these pentatonic scales. So take a look at the first one. I gave you the tab, I gave you the music notes there. What do we have here? This is the same, I'm gonna use the, the same shape I've been using. That first form that we learned on page two, okay? But I'm gonna do these notes in a collection of four notes each. So I'm gonna go, that's my first collection. Then I go to the next note and do four up from it. And then I go the next note and go four up from it. Do you see what I'm doing? Then I go the next note and go four up from it. Then I go to the next note and go four up from it. So you end up with a pattern that sounds like this. can go in reverse too. So take a look at the second line. I go to the highest note and I go down four. Then I go to the next highest note and go down four. Then I go to the next highest note, the third highest note, I guess, and then go down from it. So 
let me play that again. Ascending in groups of four, it would sound like this. Descending in groups of four. Well, what, if, what can I do that in, in triplet pairs, in notes of three? Well, that's the next pattern. So if I did the same concept in notes of three, start with the lowest tone and go up three, go to the next lowest tone and go up three, and I end up with a triplet type pattern. There you go, okay? Now, take a look at page four, flip the page, and here's a great one. This is, I heard this one on an on Eric Johnson, uh, uh, Cliffs of Dover, that am amazing introduction to Cliffs of Dover there. One of the patterns that he uses is this one, okay? And it is pairs of three. So over three strings, each string has two notes, and I'm gonna do three strings, okay? So I'm gonna do. Okay, and now I go to the fifth string and go up three strings with two notes each string. Now I go to the fourth string and do up two notes each string. Still in the pentatonic pattern. Okay, so if I did that again. If I did the same thing in descending, Okay, so we're gonna turn that track on again, and I'm gonna mess around with de these different patterns and see if you can hear which pattern I'm playing as we're going over this track. So let's turn the track on and see if I can play with some of these patterns. to solo out of that, but it just gets you going, started on a little bit of an idea there, okay? So that's part of the things that you can do with these wonderful pentatonic scales. So those are some patterns. I can apply them to different string combinations in different forms. And go from there. So it's a, it's a great tool to have. Now, let me tell you, as we close this out, I put at the bottom of page four some tips for successful learning. Okay, here, uh, Steve, wow, you've given us a mountain of information here. I don't know how to, how to, how to start on it, even start on it. All right, first, first place to learn, learn the forms first. Learn the forms first, okay? So before you go into the patterns and all that sort of stuff, just go up and down with the forms. <laughs> Okay, okay, well I did it there. Well, hey, let's make sure you can do it. Go down a half step and do the same thing. Go down another half step. Another half step. Well, let's, let's go ascend in one and descend another. Okay, I'm just working my, that form. I've got to get the form down first. I've got to get the form memorized first. First finger, fourth finger, first finger, third, first, third, first, third. I've got to get that memorized first. So play it up and down the neck. It'd be the first thing I would do. Ascend in one, descend, and then maybe ascend in one, descend in the other. Keep track of what your major and minor roots are so you can know how to use these. Hey, it's in C minor. Okay, now I'm going to put my minor root here. Hey, you want some practice on it? Just type into YouTube, C minor backing track and then go from there, and it'll, it'll pop you up something, you can practice these. And that's how I would practice this form. Once you get the form down, then start to work with some of these patterns. 
Now, if you just play the pattern, it's going to be boring. The, what the idea is is you want to kind of play the pattern, and then, like they say in in uh, gymnastics, you got to stick the dismount. Okay, so I don't want to just go. It's boring. Okay, but if the groove is going. What was that? It was that same lick. And I just did a little spin out at the end. And I tried to end on the A, because we're in A minor. So it's a little, little trick. You try and end on the root. Hey, there you go. That sounds like a lick. There you go. So you got to stick the dismount on those. There you go. We're going to talk more about pentatonic scales, but that's your first assignment. Learn the forms first. Speed, let's talk about speed just for a second on the second thing of our tips. Uh, don't worry about speed. Speed will come after you know the form. So you have to know the forms first. Uh, a, a way to get yourself frustrated is to immediately turn on the, okay, I've, I've done the forms twice, I've got them, let's turn on the metronome and go as fast as we can. No, you don't know them yet. You don't know them yet. Talk to me in about three or four days or a week or two after you've done those forms for a good 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes each day up and down the neck. Then you're ready to turn on, turn on, the, turn on the metronome and start working on speed. Get the, get the thing right first, and then once you have the right form, then you can speed it up. Okay. Uh, last thing is when you're soloing, as we talked about, you want to solo using parts of these notes. So the, it, you don't want to play the scale. Uh, you want to use the notes that are in the scale, like letters in an alphabet, to create something, okay? So it's not about playing the scale, it's about using the notes that are in that shape to try and create something. So I can go... Right out of that shape, I'm just using about three notes. I'm just figuring out that little what I can use out of that out of that scale. That's how you do it. Hope you've enjoyed this little lesson on uh, pentatonic scales. We're going to be adding a couple of workouts, and I'll show you some other great things that we can do with these scales and how you can use them. But there they are, lined up for you. Hey, I'm Steve Krenz for Guitar Gathering. If you appreciate the work that we do, please take a second to subscribe. That always helps. We will catch you guys next time.